Hey everybody, what's up? It's Gerald, the Urban Alchemist here. It's been a long time since I've uh, logged on. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's good to be back. Um, I apologize for the bright light in the background, but I'm actually in the middle of doing an errand. You see the laundry basket in the back. So um, I just want to stop and share a quick thought with you. Um, I know a lot of people start this journey, this path, um, learning about manifestation. And I've definitely been experiencing that, you know, um, I've committed fully to this path and it's definitely been an evolution for me. Um, it's been an unfolding, it's um, been a lot of really magical things and great things like, you know, running a community of people, like-minded people who are all on a journey and um, committed to listening to their spirits. That's been awesome. Um, and then just delving into different spiritual gifts that I have and teach people all about tarot. That's been really, really fun. But it's also been like um, challenges that have come up and things that are necessary. And it's been almost like first for me in my life. Um, without, oh my gosh, I don't wanna get too personal. <laughs> But definitely um, learning how to stick with the decision and deal with the outcome no matter what. Um, and then taking risks um, and not knowing what the next chapter will be. That's been very interesting for me. And um, I've always had different things um, in the past that I could turn to. I had safety nets or... I had different things I could fall back on, and this is the first time I really just, um, or I don't know if it's the first time, but it's the first time in recent memory that I can um, say that I've just dove in, and whatever will be, will be. That's been really cool to experience that, because um, I, for one, feel like I've been encouraged and taught not to do that. <laughs> and I've definitely learned that life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. You know, you hear that all the time, but to really experience that is something unique. And um, what happens when you go to that edge of the comfort zone is it it pushes you, it, you grow. Um, it's the growing pains, it's the discomfort that really enables you to like grow and also to learn who you are, what you're made of, what you're willing to tolerate. <laughs> Um, it's a journey. So I just wanted to share really quickly, real briefly, that um, a part of the manifestation, a part of the striving and reaching for your goals and, and everything is you will see, you will come against challenges. Um, you will reach difficult periods. And that's when the choice comes in. Like you have to make conscious decisions. Are you going to press forward? Or are you going to turn back and turn away from your goals? Are you going to lament things that may not seem to be going your way? Or are you going to learn from those things or override those things and just keep pushing? Um, are you going to focus on the positive and what all you're gaining and achieving? Or are you going to get so down by the things that don't seem to be working your way? Um, it pulls all those things out of you, you all. It does get challenging at times. Um, you got to constantly, you know, I love this word that one of the group members came up with. You have to constantly pivot um, whenever you see yourself heading down a certain path and that's not really productive for you emotionally or otherwise. You got to be okay pivoting. Um, you got to have your blinders on for sure. Like I'm learning, you have to have just like a warped sense of reality. Um because you can't just focus on the here and now you got to have like your big goal in mind because before you actually achieve that you have to you have to go through your paces you know like nothing's going to just fall out of the sky and come to you if it did you wouldn't really value it but your ability to tear away from the immediate evidence of your situation you know what it is directly in front of you and focus on that vision and see yourself as constantly striving and building towards that, that's what's really going to get you through those hard times. And that's the, the creator, the life designer, the boss, honestly, in you. The person that says, you know what? I'm like being unrelenting. 
you know what, if it's not working this way, we're gonna try it this way. But I've already made my mind up, this is what we're doing and I'm not backing out. And being okay with whatever consequences. You know, like one thing with me is, um, the demons, the personal demons have come up. Um, and these are the growing pains in the areas that are, you know, where I'm being strengthened and fortified is there's things that I really have been taught to avoid. Um, situations I just did not want to be in and they're not ideal, but you have to be okay. You know, no matter what you are, you, your vision is your vision. It doesn't take away from your worth. It doesn't take away from the fact that you are God incarnate. You are, um, you have a divine spark and you are a creator. You know, a creator creates in any situation. An alchemist creates something out of nothing. You know, a magician creates something out of nothing. So if you really are the alchemist and magician, you learn to create something out of literally nothing. And that's like the biggest test. So when you can really do that, that's when you grow. And, um... Oh my gosh, you hear all these stories about people who are like, oh, well, to get this success, you you have to be willing to do this, that, and the third. And you're like, oh my God, where do people get this fortitude from to go through all these horrible things? It's like, do I have that in me? Well, it's hard to know that that will be the case, but it is kind of the test. It's the descent and then the rise of the phoenix. That's the process of alchemy. You do have to descend because you have to pay um, you don't have to have bad experience necessarily. You can avoid a lot of situations, but you do have to pay to a degree for the things that you want to accomplish. Um, it shows your commitment level. And, you know, I think people kind of oversell the idea of manifestation, whatever, when they make it seem like you just wish it into um, reality. It's not quite that simple. You know, you do have to evolve you do have to elevate to the level where you can actually ex experience that thing that you envision. And in those times, what you have to rely on is your vision, you know, trust that the fact that you can see it so clearly, you know, it's meant for you. It's just like, that's what true faith is. You all like not whatever, whichever modern religion is hawking to you, hawking to you about just believing their doctrine and dogma. That's not faith necessarily, you know, like not, at least not to me, like real faith is having a vision, knowing that you're creating that and that it's going to come no matter what, because you created it. That's what real faith is. It's seeing it with that inner eye, that third eye, um, making it real um, on the invisible plane and then having it precipitate into reality. That's what real faith is. It's not just like blind faith. It's like, oh, things are going to get better just because I desperately need them to get better. But no, 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 no. Like faith is you having created something, you've seen it, you have the vision for it, and then you're working towards it despite whatever the current circumstances are. So I'm learning all about that, you all. I'm sure many of you can relate. And it's really interesting. I mean, the journey overall is a good experience, but you just see those little challenges come up and then they're like little demons. And it's like, oh man, like, I never knew I felt so strongly about this. Never knew that um, this was such an issue for me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go to this place and I never really wanted to go there, but I think there's a lesson in this place. So I'm not going to bemoan it or just be negative about it. I'm just going to go there get the lesson that I need, push past my fear, which is the big thing. And, and then I'll move on to the next lesson. You all, if it were all, um, roses and sunshine peaches and cream unicorns it just wouldn't be quite as meaningful um or significant when you got to that destination and honestly y'all it's not so much about the destination it's more about the journey so if you can relish every moment even the ones that seem uncomfortable or seem to be negative or bad that's when you're really experiencing life it's the highs and the lows together and learning that you know 
the illusion is the fear. The fear isn't real. It's the illusion of it that's scary to you. And that's definitely not real. Like the actual experience is not as bad as it seems. And when you see that you can push past that, it just fortifies you. It strengthens you. And when you experience the good, you're like, oh my God, how amazing. <laughs> you know, if you eat cheesecake, cheesecake every single day, you don't really appreciate it. But if you've been working out and you have a cheat day and you say, guess what? I'm going to eat cheesecake. I'm going to go to the Cheesecake Factory and I'm going to get this delicious um, mango, passion fruit, blah, 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 blah. She say, you're going to taste every single bite and it's going to be like ecstasy. It's going to be orgasmic. <laughs> so, you know, the quote unquote good and bad are both necessary. The bad isn't bad. It's just your inner demons it's your challenges and your ability to push past those things that's what's coming up and it's strengthening and fortifying you so that's what i've been learning um it's been very interesting comment below if you um have any stories to share don't forget to join my page facebook page the urban alchemist and we also have our tarot group unlocking tarot like share subscribe this video so good talking to, to, to you all again. Have a wonderful afternoon.